I'm going to tell you about this new breakthrough that lets scientists hack into plants and have them pull more carbon dioxide from the air, just so you know what the heck are people talking about when this comes up in the future. Scientists in Taiwan have created a new way to help plants make more carbon dioxide or pull it from the air by adding a special set of enzymes that form a new biochemical cycle that's called the MCG cycle. You can look it up later. Plants naturally use process called photosynthesis to convert CO2 into sugars, you know that. But the main enzyme for this is called Rubisco, and it's not super efficient. It wastes energy. It could be optimized even more. They've basically hacked the metabolic pathway of a plant, the energy generation pathway, and added a new cycle to the plant cells that lets them fix or capture more carbon and do it more efficiently by linking it straight into the plant's main energy pathways, like hacking into your energy network. They've tested this in a small plant called Arabidopsis or Arabidopsis thaliana. You're probably familiar if you've heard about biotech, which is basically a common weed used in labs when you do bioengineering. I've done that. And all the plants with the full new cycle grew much bigger. They weighted two to three times more and, uh, than the normal plants and had more and larger leaves and actually made more seeds. These plants took in more carbon overall and didn't use extra water to do it, which is good for dry areas. The work was done in uh, different growing conditions and it seemed to have helped the plants to do better each time. What's not clear just yet to me as someone who did biotech before is that is this going to work with bigger plants like crops or trees? And it's sort of unclear if the captured carbon will be stored in the soil or it'll get released uh, when the plant dies. And if this works, this could be really big because it could help fight climate change by making plants better at pulling CO2 out of the atmosphere. But obviously more tests need to be done. I just want you to appreciate the bioengineering thing because when I was doing bioengineering, and you've probably heard about red rice, when they bioengineered production of beta carotene inside rice for uh, countries who primarily eat rice because they had vitamin A deficiency. And it's a really difficult thing to do. It's one thing to do bioengineering to produce something, but it's another to do bioengineering on a metabolical pathway path, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm super hyped about this one here. If this works, if someone has a patent on this, it could become a billionaire, but we'll see what happens.